Now we'll turn our attention to modeling a synchronous part. Here the 2D and 3D commands are unified and everything is executed from a single 3D environment. We will start by drawing a simple rectangle as we did before. The profiles that we draw create automatic regions. These regions can simply be selected and dragged to generate 3D geometry. No specific 3D commands are used. Let's see the same process again. The two lines drawn on the top face form regions that can be selected and dragged. We can infer whether we add or remove material simply by moving the mouse in the appropriate direction. Individual faces can then be selected and adjusted accordingly. Let's carry on and draw an arc on the end face. Then we'll select the region that the arc creates and add the material in the appropriate direction. Then add a couple of rounds to smooth off the corners. When adding holes, the direction of the hole is inferred automatically, simply by dragging across the face. It is also easy to attach them relative to key points on existing geometry. Finally here, we need to create the slot through the middle of the part. Again, sketching directly on the inferred face and adding appropriate geometric conditions to ensure the shape stays central and symmetric. Then selecting the region, if we pull away from the model, it will add material. And if we push it into the model, material will be removed. When it comes to editing the geometry, instead of having to go back and adjust any sketches or profiles, Solid Edge with synchronous technology simply allows us to grab faces and then push or pull them to achieve the desired result. Let's see this again as we adjust some portions of the slot. Notice how even though we select a single face, other faces remain aligned and symmetric. This is being handled by our live rules. We will cover these in more detail in a future example. If we require more control over the geometry, we can simply add PMI dimensions directly to the 3D model. There is no need to add them to the profile which originally created the feature. These dimensions can then be used to modify the model quickly and easily. The key thing with regard to these changes is that the model's history is not being recomputed since changes are being handled locally. This means edits happen much faster. Finally, we'll grab some of the faces and add an angle to them. There is no need to use an additional command as we would have to in a traditional modeler. Simply select them and move or rotate them to the desired position. These edits are being handled by the solid edge steering wheel which we will cover in more detail in a future example.